What um what was the deciding factor in coming to the Falcons and getting a chance to you know get it started after last season in Seattle? Um, it was just a good opportunity. It's, uh, young guys in the room. Um, I just felt I wanted to be a little closer to home. Finally, I've been on the West Coast for the last couple of years, and um, I just seen opportunity, so I, I jumped at it. So where did they say you might fit in at? You know, I know you played some 3-4 in and some tackle. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be doing a little bit of it all across the line, hopefully. Um, the more I can do, the more I can help out. So my goal is to be able to help anywhere they ask me to. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to be as of now, but I'm sure I'll learn more over the next few weeks. All right. Thanks. Michael Rothstein. Hey, Jonathan. How's it going? Good. So I actually want to kind of ask you more about like you and Dante Fowler. Like how much did that play into this? And is there some sort of like reuniting really with the two of you that that kind of plays in at all to what y'all maybe be, did, you know, half decade ago now? Yeah. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. When I got the call, I definitely called him and, you know, we talked about it and talked about how it would be exciting. But, um, you know, I just I just felt like it was the best place for me this year. Um, so, you know, we just had a conversation. It's going to be great getting back with him. It was definitely a, a, a plus to coming on to having a guy like that that I came in with. When we traveled, he was my roommate. So we got a good relationship. So it definitely helped. How, how did back at Florida, obviously, we're going back a half decade now, right? But, like, how did the two of you play off each other when you were in the game together? Oh, uh, you know, we just – had a competitive edge about each other. We both knew that we was talented guys. We came in early. We played right away together. Um, you know, we knew that kind of during the recruiting process after we both decided to go there. So we just go out there and try to make each other better. We got a relationship where we can push each other with no hard feelings that we had at UF as we both got older and, you know, both stepped up to try to help the team go in the right direction. So it's going to be nice to play with them again. Cool. Appreciate it. Mike Conti, 92.9, you got anything? I'm good, man. Thank you. All right, Justin Reed, you got anything? No. All right, D led. You got you got any follow ups? Uh yes, uh, Matt. Yeah, uh, Jonathan. Um, what were you hurt last year? You, I saw just six games. Well, how t if you were, what was the situation in Seattle? Um, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. I went into Seattle probably um, from Arizona, probably around week four, week three or week four, something like that. I played, and a few of their guys just came back that they had that was on injury reserve. And, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, I, I went, I played, and uh, I think it was like two or three guys came back off IR for them. So, you know, mm -hmm. I just had to wait until my number was called. And uh, what did you um, what do you take from your start in Chicago? You were playing, you know, starting there for three years, it looked like. And, uh, uh, you know, what did you learn during that period with the Bears? Um, that's when I, I was a young guy coming in. I learned a lot from Akeem Hicks. Uh, he was a good a leader, obviously a heck of a player. Um, you know, that's just when I had first started, just learning the game. Still, you know, you can never learn too much. I had a great guy in the room to learn from. So, you know, I just learned how to work from them guys and, you know, I just applied it for all these five years. Any connection with the uh, coaching staff that, uh, you know, you had some familiarity with to bring you here? Um, no, not really. Not really. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mike, you got anything else? Yeah, I want to dig a little bit more back into Florida. Sorry, Jonathan, if this is, you know, five years old now. <laughs> but uh, – when when Dante left, you decided to stay. Like the do the two of you talk about that decision back then because both of y'all were were in pretty good spots even at that point. Yeah, I mean we've been talking about going to the NFL since freshman. You know, um, just at the time, you know, like I said, you just got to do what's best for you. Even though we're close friends, at the end of the day, it's a business. Um, you know, he was at a point where he was ready to come out. His number was high enough where he thought he would go, obviously, with him being, I believe, the third pick in the draft. I mean, he couldn't say no, you know. And at the time, I felt like that I could be a little – I could play a little better, show a little more, go a little higher. So I decided to come back. Um, 
you know, we talked about it, but at the end of the day, he had to do what was best for his family. I had to do what I felt was best for me, and we just went with those decisions. What, when you were still at Florida that that last year, and then he obviously gets hurt, like, right away in Jacksonville, are you two still talking all the time? Does he come up and, like, hang out? Because, like, you know, all of a sudden he's going from being able to play to, you know, literally not the whole year. Like, what was that year like when y'all were apart? Yeah, we definitely stayed in touch. Um, but, you know, it's a little different. When he went through that, he had to uh, go through his process. He had to be there every day for rehab and stuff. So he wasn't coming back and forth. He was um, focused on trying to get back on the field, which was the most important thing. So, yeah, we stayed in touch. And, uh, you know, we talked and we seen each other a few times. But most of all, you know, he was there trying to rehab and get back on the field for next year and be prepared when his number was called. And I was trying to do the same down. So, you know, we just stayed in touch verbally through the phone. And, I mean, I know you said y'all talked a little bit. Like, is there a party that's pretty pumped that y'all will be able to play together again? Because I know guys, once they leave college, you know, you never know if you're ever going to get to do that. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely exciting. When I called him and told him that I decided to, you know, take this opportunity, we was both just like, you know, let's try to, you know, turn up like we did in college together. You know, it's having a close friend right beside you again is it's nothing like it. Like you said, it don't happen often. So, you know, we was both very excited about the situation. But, you know, we just got to – go in this is a different level you know better players so we got to go in work and you know push each other to the to the max